now that we have the Ryobi tool rack all done, I want to also set this vacuum cleaner up on the wall. Okay, I think we're going to put the wet dry back right about here. This way, it's not in the way of carrying things outside. You're not going to hit it, but yet it's still accessible. And we're going to be using, again, some of the same laminate flooring, as well as these shelf brackets. Here's all the items that are needed. We have our shelf that's cut to fit, is nine inches across, two shelf supports, a level, six drywall screws, and then six drywall anchors if needed. Okay, I've made one of these already. Everything's a hammer. You may have noticed on my other video building this, I prefer these screws right here, but there's not much weight and it's such a small area, it's not going to be an issue. You can see this is nice and strong. It's easiest to get one up before you do the second. Okay, now we have our first one set in. Have a level crossed it. Mark our holes. And test fit. Everything checks out. Let's 
seems we hit a stud there. Okay, since we hit a stud, we're gonna need a smaller diameter bit. Okay, this is a 330 seconds bit. Okay, we have both brackets up and centered. We're going to take our Sharpie and mark out the holes to drill. So we don't have any screws. That's the proper depth. So what we're going to do is just cut the tips off. Okay, we've cut our screws to fit. They're going to sit nice and flush. Now we're going to drill out the holes. Put a piece of masking tape here as a depth gauge. drilled and I've started all the screws. Okay, here we are up top. None of the screws are protruding. And here we are, installed. As you can see, it's overhanging, but that's okay. We knew that going in because we wanted to use this laminate flooring shelving because it's lightweight and thin. The vacuum cleaner isn't heavy, so we're not gonna worry about it falling down. Okay, we have our wet dry back installed. And I made a video on this rack, if you haven't seen it yet. Now for this particular application, 
these small shelf brackets are going to do fine because it's not a heavy object. And this is what we're using. It's roughly six by eight. Got these on Amazon with a coupon. It was $17.10 before tax, which is very cheap. It's $2.50. I believe it's $2.50 Home Depot. Lowe's right around there, $2.53. So this setup is for cordless. I can imagine putting some other items up above, down below. Since I do have a portable workstation here, this is actually a great location. This may be a good location to put my clamps or maybe screws since it'll be here on the mobile cart. I have the vice clamp here and, and this skill drill press will be here more than likely. I'll have it set up so it can be moved if needed. But I may just keep it on the cart so I can take it outside and not make a mess in the shop when I drill steel or wood. The video will probably be out by the time you see this. So go ahead and check that out. As always, thank you for watching.